On this episode of Picker Road, the Vegas Mega Pick continues, and later we are going to grab a lunch that you are not going to want to miss. So sit back, relax, and join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. We've got another little garage sale. Let's see what we've got. I've got some tables full of stuff. Lots of tools. Lots of tools. It seems to be a theme. I see grapes. What is this? Oh, it's a little, little angel. Oh, I think if you take that little tab out, she does something. Yeah, we've got a little crystal. I have quite a few of these right now. So, mm -hmm. um, this is really pretty, though. Feels like it's in really nice shape. It's a flower and butterfly. We can certainly ask how much this is. Look at all those wreaths. Those are pretty. Looks like they might be some handmade. We have Fourth of July goodies. Oh. Oh, I love her. Do you see who that is? It's an Anna Lee. Yeah. I love her. Nice. She's fabulous. Are there any others in there? I don't know. But she is fabulous. All 4th of July goodies. Oh, she's great. Let's see if there's any more Anna Lees. Hello, pumpkin. See the bunny ears? Oh, yeah. Those are, what is the other one? The bunny what? I don't know. I don't know what that other one is. What is he? The leopard. He's a tiger. You're so silly. Okay. Obviously somebody is a wreath maker. Here you have all your wires and, and all your flowers. And if you work really hard, this is what you come up with. This one's nice for spring. Very pretty for spring. Let's see. Now, what are these? They're like, I don't know what they are. They're like um, those shoes. What are those shoes? Crocs. Crocs. They're like... Croc bags huh. or something. Interesting. Yeah, they are. They're very different. Do you see the. We got VGK. Do you? Are all the wreaths yours? Yeah. Oh, they're lovely. Lovely. He's cute. And how much do you want from them? Uh, what did I have on that one? Five? So I'll do 15 for all of them if you want all of them. I, I really want I'm just really concerned about the Duras. I just don't know how I can get that. Well, I'll Wait. give her to you. How about for $2? And then we'll do so 12 for all three of them. That's sure. Thank you so much. It's very fair. So I got this fantastic 4th of July, which is, you know, right around the corner. Anna Lee. Wonderful. And then she went inside and got two more. So I have a little Christmas and a little angel. And uh, they're just precious. I love the Emily. The little mice are especially cute. So that was a good little stop. Onward. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Oh, look at the poker set. Ooh, let's see. Are they custom? Mm, no, but they're missing some, I think. Oh, yeah, they're World Poker Tour. Oh, custom. Very I didn't nice. know what you meant. I thought you meant, like, did they have the people's name on it or something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, look, somebody's a football fan. A little stained glass deal. Let's look up here. Everyone's selling their Christmas things now. Let's see. These are always nice little felt protectors. Those are always good things to have. I know these guys. Yeah, and these are kind of popular. Let's find out how much they want for this. No, 
a little toothpick holder. Can you see? Look through the glass. A little pineapple. That's Schwarzky. What does it say? Or is that just smudge? I think it's just smudge on there. I don't see a name on it. How yeah, about the big one? Mm, had a label that got peeled off. Hmm. I'll find out how much those are. They're very pretty. Oh, look at those bookends. I wonder how much those are. Should do you I see those? Down for those? Can you? Can you do it? Can you film it and do it? Oh, look at They're you. They're like um, lucite almost. Oh, are they? They're lighter than I thought they would be. Do they have any name right there? Yes. Uh, it is. Let's find out how much those are. Pearl Matter 1981. Let's find out how much those are. I love the look of them. Well, we've got a lot of outdoor chairs. Look at those. Those would be great for a tiki party. Yeah. Or a like a tiki bar outside with the grass, you know, roof and everything. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. What do we have? We have shoes. And we have a little elephant fountain or something like that. And a little, wow. I think it's a Leonardo da Vinci. What do you think? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And we just have some casino giveaways here and a big painting. Let's see. What else do we have? Are they anything in the back? I wonder. I don't think so. Okay. Sure, on to the next. All right, let's do it. Now we are flipping back to a estate sale. Want a bear? Aww. What do you say? Take me home for 25. You know, are you kidding? That's really good. He's split, but uh, he's trend. He's terrific. Oh, this cat. Look at him. He is $150, but he is 40% off. It's like somebody liked cats. He is a $3 bank. Yeah, a little worn off. A little worn for my taste. Oh, look, Colonial Williamsburg, Little Bell. I remember going to Colonial Williamsburg many times when I was growing up on the East Coast. Can we look at these vinyls here real quick? Sure, please. Let's see what we got. Okay, we've got some vinyls here. Let's see what we got. Looks like they are, uh, it says $10 a piece. So that means they'd be $6 a piece now. So it'd have to be some pretty spectacular titles for me to want to take anything. And huh, breaking it up on the Beatles tour. I don't know that story. I wonder if she maybe opened for them when they were on tour. A lot of Eddie Arnold, the Righteous Brothers. Okay, not anything that I'm going to go crazy about here. And then I'm just going to do a quick pop through the little 45s and see any specific titles. Nope. All right, let's keep on going. Oh, what is that? Is that a shot? Cover? One cent. Oh, <laughs> what is this little little ceramic piece? Hmm. Not signed. Somebody really did like cats. Yeah. We've got a lot of cat dishes. Whisker City. Oh, that's funny. Very funny. Absolutely a cat lover house. I know. Now is that a quarry critter or? Oh, I think it's a handmade piece. Wait, do you see what I see here? No. I thought it was the stratosphere at first. That's the space needle. Ah. Oh. I'm trying to see what's it say on his collar. Uh, Hemingway House. Oh, okay. So that's from um, Key West. How many paws? How many um, digits on the paws? Because oh. you know Hemingway's cats were famous for having extra digits. Oh, he liked the extra digit cats. I don't know how much this is. And oh, look at the cat oh. mobile. Definitely. <laughs> A lot of cat stuff. This one is a little signed piece. I'm trying to see who the artist is. They've got it covered up with these little felt pieces. So I can ask how much these little pieces are. Let's go out here. Well, we've got some Crocs here. Oh, big chip story. Yeah, it's also not marked. What is this guy? 
Oh, look at the little. Let's see what he's got on him. He's a cute little guy. What does he say? He's made in Japan. He's Franklin Mint. He's a, he's kind of cute. I think maybe we'll pick him up. Do you see any chips? I don't. His little ears are fine. Is, oh, does that match? I just reached up and I saw this. I think it it's matches. the same artist. It's got a signature on the bottom. Oh, there you go. All right. Yeah, little... I believe this would count as, they're saying all glassware and kitchen items are $2 each. $2 so each, yeah. That might be right. Yeah. Well, let's see if that is correct. Well, this is interesting. Well, what is that? So it's been customized, but mm -hmm. it is bleak. Oh, yeah. Hmm. But see, once it's customized, I don't... Yeah. Well, I think it loses it for people. What does that say? That says Germany. I think it's more recent. Mm-hmm. And I've got my little cat. You ready for an HTG there? Yeah, pretty much. Gary just noticed that this piece is cracked, but this piece is beautiful. It is signed, and we're going to probably get that one. All right, let's let's check out. All right. If you break it, you buy it. Okay. In other words, don't touch unless you're really sure. Well, I really want to know what that is, though. Is that just a crystal? Just a rock? Pretty. Mm -hmm. A lot of southwestern art. A lot of James Dean. Yeah, somebody was a big James Dean fan. What is this here? It's a candle holder. I bet that's either party light or that might even um, be Yankee Candle. What do you think? I, I'm not sure. Um, take a second here, though. Yeah. And just look at that view that they have oh. out there on the Vegas Strip. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, that is really amazing. I bet it's beautiful at night when that's all lit up. Mm -hmm. All right. Got some ducks. ducks. All right. This caught my eye. Crystal Impressions by Gans. Oh, that's cute. What is it? <laughs> oh, it's just, I thought it was like a perfume bottle, mm. but they're just flowers on mm. there. I'm looking at these. Those are Libby. See ah. the L? Oh, yes. And these look a little bit older, a little bit vintage. What are these? Those look vintage. They do. Very vintage-y. Little crackle glass candle holder. Don't see a price on that. And let's look over here. Just little brown drip glaze teapot. Huh. I didn't know if it might have been a McCoy. It's not. It's not the real McCoy. <laughs> no, it is not. Well, chippy on that guy. Oh, wow. Look, I, I, I know you're going to see what that is. I know. It's Lennox. It's Lennox. But it's at full retail. I wonder if they have any. Ooh, what is that? Has that been glued? I've never seen a swan on it. Uh, it's Avon. It's Avon. So where did you see Lennox? Well, this is, this is Lennox. Yeah, those two. Yeah. Those two. Absolutely. Got another garage sale. Gary's already in and searching. Gary's got his radar on. Okay, so we've got some glasses. Yeah. Those are steins. I know, that's, that's a big one. Oh, there's some jewelry over there. We'll work our way over there. Let's see. That is newer. Yeah. Very light. And that's heavy. And that's newer, too. All right. Let's go take a look at the jewelry. That looks like tiger's eye, doesn't it? Yeah. They went full belt buckle. They went 15 for it. What's that? Lighter. Oh, a lighter. And you have some... I thought it was jewelry. It's more like kind of just belt buckles and things. Oh, look at her. She's a little, a little angel. 
1995, when did you start? Hey, Barbie. Oh, hey, Ken. 1995, yeah. holiday Barbie. And let's see what else we have. We have Maine. Augusta, Maine. Do you remember it? What? The Maine. And <laughs> there it goes. Ah, I fall for it every time. You think I'd learn? For the military, the police, all those guys. He does that all the time. All right. Is that a snail? I think so. Are you a snail? Yes, I'm a snail. He's cute. Well, somebody's traveled. Look, we have Belgium. Oh, my. And Barcelona. Barcelona, Holland, Quebec. What's that one back there? That is, I think it's just, oh, and London. Oh. How fun. Very nice. I love that. Well, it's nice looking at the Fiesta wear. Um, it's not selling super high right now, but it's, it's really a nice example. These yellow bowls are beautiful. Look at the condition of those. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. They would be really hard to ship, though. Let's look over here, Will. Look at this cute little box. If this is a newer piece, but it's, you know, in the style of the way they would make, like, the Pennsylvania Dutch boxes and mm -hmm. the folk art. They're always cute to look at. And let's see what else. I'm not seeing too much else here. I see a little picture frame in here. It's a very, the one designed uh, from Barbados. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Little Barbados picture frame. I guess you could put a picture of Rihanna in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, let's pay for our drink stirs. And you know what? We are only a few minutes away from our favorite Goodwill. Why don't we go check it out? Let's do it. All right. Okay, as promised, here we are. We're at a Goodwill that we usually find a lot of good things at. Goodwill has good things. All right. Let's head to the hard goods and see what we can find. Take a gander at this. We love fresh carts. Yes, we do. I'm trying to see, do you see anything down there? I'm a looking. A little collector's plate. I'm trying to get down to whatever this little little person is down here. Is that a frog? Today's a frog day. Is he? What is that? That's it's just firing. Just firing, I think. Nah. No. Nah. Sorry, guy. All right. He's just not, not that great. Hardly. Is it okay if I look? Yeah. Okay. So we have down here. We have some shoe dealies that you put in shoes and hey, it looks like a catcher's mitt we're gonna play catch um no i don't think so Ooh, does this how what does this uh store need a little more cowbell cowbell there's a whole bunch of them back there oh my goodness look at the little bag of cowbells i i gotta be honest <laughs> i could have used more cowbell this is kind of fun i don't know what do you think i don't yeah. know why not? Maybe even some tiny treasures. I don't. I don't think that cowbell, but these these are kind of fun, right? Yeah. Do you want me to see what's in this one down here? Sure. Would you? All right. Let's... Oh, hi, Barbie. Hey, Ken. Hi, Barbie. Lots of Barbie. Oh, it's a bag of Barbie. It's all toys, I think. All toys down there. All toys. All right. How and much is that Barbie? Uh, she's nine ninety nine. Very good. So, and what's up in here? Anything? Uh, I don't see anything else. What is this? Is this? This isn't. I thought it was Barbie something. It's a wine glass. Wine glass. Well, let's let's give her a look. Okay, so we are going to pick her up. Barbie is so hot right now. Um, her box is a little worse for wear, but she's in perfect condition and it looks like she's never been out of the box and she is vintage absolutely she's 23 years old i thought barbie was 21. <laughs> oh well let's keep looking we're going to start out in the vases here and just see if we can see anything <laughs> that's uh creative 
All right. Absolutely, a student piece. What is this? No, no good there. What is this one? And I gotta keep looking. Cause sometimes they surprise me. Sometimes something is better than my initial reaction. What does this say here? Uh, hand, handmade. Handmade and made in Portugal. Oh. Yeah, made in Portugal. Um, it's very scratched. Aww. It's it's really, it, I think it's been through a dishwasher. Uh, or actually, I think it's been through the mill. No. Oh, those are, oh, oh darn. Up. Well, that, oh, it comes right off. See, I think it comes off. Yeah. I think whatever that is, it comes off. So are they okay? They seem to be fine. Do you see anything else wrong with them? I don't. All right. Good find, William. It pays to be tall. Look at this. A Las Vegas ashtray. Come on, 11. <laughs> that's fun. How much is it? It is $3.99. Very nice. I think that's fun. Let's put that in the cart. Oh, I know these mushrooms. I've sold these before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're super popular. Let's pick that up. And the Alaskan Pipeline. <laughs> Does that look like an older piece? It does. But I think it might just be a production... Uh, a project piece? Project piece. There gotcha. you go. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Lots to look at. What is that back there? Can you even get a take on that? What is that? It looks like some sort of molding or something. That's so, it's so strange. It's bizarre. It's like it's wood. Yeah. It's almost like those wood uh, pieces that they put in fake fireplaces or something. Right. Yeah. Just so set it back down yeah, here. Yeah. Thank you, Will. It's a, a little strange. We have some dishes. It's like somebody had... This is the dish I think that we looked at in the cart, I think. Or if not, it's very similar. Oh, we have some patriotic coasters. A little heavy to ship, I think. And, uh, oh, this, look at that bird. Isn't that too bad? His Aww. tail is broken. And look at the Mickey welcome friends. Birdie Antoinette. Where do you see that? Oh, it's the tail missing. I thought it was the head. Oh. And we have Made, made in Japan. Japan. Leave that. Let's keep on looking. This is definitely a Japanese looking piece. Very, very light. Mm. So light. Look at these beautiful candles. Very, very pretty. Uh, let's see what else we have. What is this? Just have a little shoe there. Not, not particularly attractive. Certainly not like just the right shoe. And let's see. Oh, we have a little crystal. Bohemia. Bohemian crystal. That's a little toothpick holder. Let's make sure we're all good. Yeah, I think it feels pretty good. How much do they want for it is the is the key though. Yeah, I think we're, we're gonna ask. I don't know how much they want. Looks like recycled glass. And it doesn't nah. doesn't glow. Ooh, I knew what it is wouldn't, this? but I always check. We're supposed to have a clock in there or something? Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not it's sure. It's missing something. Oh, look at the shell. My goodness. Wow. Yeah. That is something. I don't like the way it's broken on that one top piece, so I'm going to leave that. I'm trying to think about this dish, though. I wish it was marked so I had a, a better read on it. I think I'm going to leave it. It's not bad quality, though. Oh my goodness, look at all these little animal creatures. He's got a chip on his paw. Who does? The one you're looking at there. I just saw it. The chip oh. down there on the claw. <laughs> oh, the claw. 
I thought you said it was paw. Oh, I'm I sorry. Say, oh my goodness, I think that's a rooster. How confused am I? And what do we have here? We have a little, little fake purse type thing. Look at these guys. Little clown bells. And a very, very fake Cupid. Little Cupid doll, I should say. Lots of little figurines. That is precious moments. And we have an angel, little stained glass angel. Pretty colors. It's uh, handcrafted, the stained glass cottage. A precious angel to watch over you. She's kind of nice. Look at that pretty blue color. But I think she's cracked on the bottom. Oh, darn. That's a deal breaker. Did you see that? I did, yeah. I'm right, right? That's yes. cracked. Double cracked. Double cracked. That's too bad. See these over here? No, nope, I'm getting there. It's Linden, not Yadro. Yeah. We have a... Oh, that's heavy. Oh, it's too bad that that is not signed. It's also got a chip, though. Woohoo. All right. All right, let's keep going. So many baskets today. What's this? A oh, snowman basket. Hey. What? Are you the queen of picking? Oh, look at that. Are they really boxes? No. Oh, yes. Yeah. They're really huh. little boxes. Now, are they supposed to be that worn? Is that just the way they are? Uh, they're made to look that way, I'm sure. I'm guessing those are Ross pieces. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And they sold for $4.99 each. Well, they're asking $4.99 for both. All right, let's keep going. Ah, genuine walnut. Where do you see that? This little tree right here. Oh, okay. Isn't that laser cut, I think? Probably. Oh, folk arty type pieces. Again, just like the those boxes, they are kind of like a Ross or Home Goods piece, which isn't always bad because a lot of people are collecting that. So we have to be mindful, depending on how well, how well it's made and the quality, we might want to consider some of those things. Look at that. It's like a castle top. That looks like an older piece. Three ninety nine. Definitely looks like an older piece. It just doesn't. It doesn't appeal to me. I don't think it's that attractive. C A. That's ironwood for sure. He is ironwood, but he's broken. Oh darn. He's a shark. He's an ironwood shark. Mmm. This fish gives me an idea for lunch. Ooh, something fishy. Something fishy. What is this piece of glass here? Take a look at this. No, I don't think the quality is there. Just wanted to explore it. This is in Lake Crusade. No, Blue Harbor. Hmm. Now, I would never, what? never, ever, ever in the past what? be looking at like mugs and tumblers and everything. But have you heard about this Stanley Cup thing that's been going around? I have not. So there's this thing called the Stanley Cup, no relation to hockey, mm -hmm. where they're like selling for a fortune and people are fighting for them like Beanie Babies back in the 90s. What are they? They're just mugs that people really like. So now I'm looking for mugs all of a sudden. But what? how do I identify it? They say Stanley on the side. Is Stan like Stanley the um like Stanley Cup? It's they're called Stanley Cups. It's so weird. But but Stanley is didn't they make a line of thermoses? Maybe it's the same company. I think. I'm so confused. Look at these little spice, little Japanese. I mean, made in Japan, Westwood products. Little spice pieces look like little books. Cinnamon, paprika, and salt. Might be nice if you had all of them. And chances are they came in a wood, uh, some sort of wood holder, maybe, that looked like a bookshelf. Right. You know? All right. I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh, I don't see anything. Okay. I'm really intrigued. I really want to know what these look like. These Stanley cups. I tell you what. Why don't you find one and show me? Yeah, I'd like to. Oh, look at that. That's kind of pretty. Little... 
perfume bottle. Oh, chipped. Oh, darn. There we go. Look at these. Salt and peppers. Kind of cool. Need an awful lot of cleaning, though, I would say. All right. Let's go around here. Let's look for a Stanley Cup. All right. We found our way into the glasses. I'm absolutely stunned at this whole idea of these Stanley Cups. And we're going to have to try to look very hard to find it. It's got to be a specific one, of course. Right. Like, I've heard that the Starbucks and the Target ones are super, super rare. They sell for hundreds of dollars. What does that say? Oh, you know these, those embers? Oh, yeah. Remember I sold one? Uh-huh. This guy is missing his base. I wonder if the replacement mugs sell for anything. Let's do that quick look up on these. Well, it appears that the mug only can sell for about $30. So for two ninety nine, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up. It makes sense to me because, like, if somebody has one of the bases and there's two people, they share the base. There you go. All right. Let's see. Any other mugs down here? I don't see anything. All right. Let's move on. Now we're in some cups and saucers. What are these little guys? Circle? Is that what it says? Mm, so it looks like it. All right, let's get. Oh, look at this little teapot. Nope, no marking. I didn't it's think so. Not short and stout. No. And now we're into plates. Let's see if we see any plates. Look at this plate. Now that I'm sure that's not for food use with all that metal on there. That would be a really attractive serving plate mm. for hors d'oeuvres or cookies. Something good could go on there. Let's see. All right, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything. So um, why don't we go check out the art? Let's do it. Okay, let's see. We have a lot of large art. What is that frame? Oh, it's a picture frame. And we have monster trucks. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I don't even know how to say that. Monster trucks. So I was doing another pass over the shelves and sure enough, look at these little like Millefiori glass pieces. We have a chicken and a little elephant. They're precious. I right, grab those and oh, these are just little, little vases. I don't think those are anything. I'm just going to take another look, William. My goodness. That will always teach you to go back and make sure they haven't put anything new out. I am so excited to finally be checking this place out. This is a place where they're going to make you a fish that you can't refuse. It's called the Codfather, and it's supposed to be the best fish and chips in Las Vegas. I love their logo. Look at it. It's Marlon Brando in The Godfather, only he's a fish. That's hysterical. Wow. Look at these fish and chips. They smell amazing. They look amazing. Let's give them a try. Yep. Best in Vegas by far. Oh my goodness. These are so good. Hey, well, we enjoy our fish and chips. Let's recap today's finds.
Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you always know when an episode premieres. Also, please check out PickerRoad.com where you can purchase many of the fun items we've found on our adventures. Lastly, please leave a comment. We read all of them and we love interacting with you because we always want you to join the journey. Oh,